Kevin Bloodworth from Ottawa, Ontario is a husband, father, writer, speaker, entertainer, business leader, and a man of vision. If you've heard the story of his early life, he's been here several times, you know that Kevin is an overcomer. Well, we were shocked last August to receive news of a cancerous brain tumor. Kevin, you were at the top of your, dare I say, game. Uh, it would take me a minute to read your entire profile business-wise. Uh, a busy man in 20 countries a year with all of your involvements. When this emerged, really not entirely as a surprise, you had symptoms and had actually been in touch with your doctor about something not being just right. Yeah, something wasn't right. I was um, running across the globe. Uh, at the time, I was serving a, a, on contract with, as the president of Dynamo Industries, and uh, Richard uh, and I were running all over the world, and we would sit in the hotel room somewhere in Europe, and I would just start having these symptoms, and Rick would always say, you need to get that checked out. And and I, I started collecting a directory of things that were going on, and I submitted a full page um, a list to my doctors, and uh, they went in a tailspin just thinking uh, it was uh, some arrhythmic problems with my heart, and so that all tested out, and um, unfortunately they were just never able to pinpoint what the source of the problem was. They were looking in the wrong place. They were. Your mother was gravely ill, mm -hmm. and you made an emergency trip to Atlanta, and that's where things, pardon the pun, came to a head. They, they did indeed. Uh, my mother suffered some complications doing a heart surgery. Uh, she died on the table. She was put on life support, slipped into a coma. And uh, on my way there, uh, miraculously, she came to and uh, has since recovered fully. It's, uh, it's another story in itself. But uh, while I was there, I started suffering uh, grave headaches. And uh, so much so that the doctors and the nurses that were coming in would say, are you okay? And they would take my vitals and my temperature and give me Advil. And um, So while you're there seeing your mother in who's hospital, in a coma, yeah. they're worried about your health. Indeed. Uh, the, the signs were visible and physical. I, you know, there was a point just before, after I returned to, it, to uh, Ottawa from Atlanta, I would uh, turn over and shake my head and I would feel a mass, mm. uh, almost like a charley horse in, in my brain. I, I, I knew something was up and, uh, you know, I just, I was waiting for the right moment for the moons to align with my insurance here in Ontario uh, so that I could go and get seen about. And, mm. uh, and, and things did come to a head uh, there towards the end of July. You passed out mm -hmm. in your vehicle? Uh, just to the, to the outside of my vehicle, I was at the chiropractor and uh, he said, you know, you, you need to go to the hospital and you need to go now. Um, I, I'm not sure what people were seeing, but it, it was apparent. And so I left my chiropractor, went up to my in-laws uh, to have my father-in-law take me. They weren't there. I was searching around the home. And um, five hours later, I was uh, awoken uh, by a neighbor of his who was calling the ambulance. I was laying in my own vomit. I didn't know how I got there. I didn't know what happened to the absence of time. Um, but I was, I, was, I was just sure thankful that at that moment that something uh, that I was going to be seen about. Help. And I mean, God's intervention, the timing of this, so close. The nurse told you that you were within possibly hours yeah. of passing from this world. Yeah, the, the nurses, the, the, the initial medical team in the emergency room, they were very glad that I came in and, and they did express it. It wasn't a matter of um, um, if, it was just a matter of when. That my cancer, the tumor was so large uh, that I would have, in my sleep, slipped into a coma and, and, and passed. And for every time you have been on this couch, Four times, maybe. Yeah. Every time I've been on this show, I have had, have I had. It's been cancer. growing. Mm -hmm. It's been in there. Yeah. Apparently, seventy percent of people don't really respond to treatment. This is Se how serious it is. Yeah, a significant number of people with this particular tumor uh, do not respond, uh, and it's all genetics. I've come to find out medically, it's amazing that your your body molecularly, some bodies will respond to medication and some body and treatment, and some won't, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I'm, thank God that I, I have responded. I, I want folks to see your beautiful family, mm -hmm. your wife Nancy, She's your gorgeous. children. Uh, Reese is a little girl and Maddox, your son. Mm -hmm. they, this is, we're talking eight months ago. Mm -hmm. So the children are two and four now. Oh, look at 
they truly look like little cherubs. They're awesome. Um, this is reason enough to make this prognosis, this crisis, uh, unacceptable. Can I say that? Yeah. How did you respond? Well, it certainly makes your hold, you hold your wife and your children a little bit uh, different. You know, when you, uh, when I, mm, excuse me, there are uh, milestones in your life that you want to experience, you know. I want to be the man that gives my daughter away on her wedding day. I, I want to be the coach of my son's football or soccer. I can't skate, so I can't really say hockey. <laughs> But, um, you know, and, and there are things in my life. We want, my wife and I, we want to retire together. We, I don't want my life to be consumed with traveling for business. My wife, we want to travel together and we don't want to accomplish, you know, all the things that you dream about. And, and my wife, she deserves it. And so as I, um, instead of seeking to, in the pity pot sense of why me, you know, I, uh, I just choose to believe that God has allowed it. And, um, and in the same way that he allows things to come on you, he also gives you the strength and the path to, uh, to escape that. And right now, my only escape and my only hope has been God, and he's responded accordingly because he loves me so. <laughs> uh, this is an email from Nancy, August 14th. This mm. is pretty early. Kevin's attitude is really positive. He is confident in God's plan for him, and I am too. I continue to be amazed at even the little blessings that are coming our way in the midst of the storm. Mm. Nancy's a high school teacher. She is. Uh, you had food delivery for six months. Yep. During for, for six months, we didn't cook a meal. And, I'm, and I don't mean prices. just food, I mean meals, from appetizers to dessert. Her school board, the, uh, the St. Peter's at the Ottawa Catholic Carleton School Board, it just un, un, the community in Ottawa, and I, I would believe as a whole, we don't, we're all selling ourselves short to believe that the Christian community isn't as close as we are, that our community at large, Christian or not, isn't as compelled as we are to really reach out, to make a difference in those lives around us that need help. It's there. The spirit uh, of love and camaraderie is there in our community, and um, it was evidenced in, in my life over the past eight months. We have a photograph of Nancy giving you a, an affirming squeeze before mm. your surgery. Mm. Um, you, you took those doctors on with, with a real faith fight as well. I did. Uh, one doctor told you, you know, we can't save you. We can just prolong your yeah. life. What did you say? That was one doctor's opinion. We, you know, Kevin, we, 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 unfortunately, there's nothing that will stop this cancer. You know, we can prolong your life. And I say to him, you know, the book I read talks about an alpha and omega. And uh, you don't look like either one of them. So <laughs> don't worry, the pressure's off. Okay? Those are names for Jesus, by the way. King of the universe. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in, I didn't allow anyone to speak anything over me or into me that was speculation or statistic, you know, because I know that uh, we don't serve a common or status quo God by any means. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just chose to set my mindset um, above. It's a huge part of your journey and your first emails. Uh, you kind of claimed Psalm 91, 14 to 16 and mm -hmm. personalized it. I did, and actually that was done for me by some members of my church at the Life Center in Ottawa. Um, uh, a young uh, a couple came to me and said, we have a scripture for you. And so many people came up. My, my dear friend, Pastor Rob at, in, uh, in Ottawa said, you know, God gave me a verse for you. And in Matthew, it says, this sickness will not end in your death, but in my glory. Praise mm -hmm. God. Let me read Psalm 91, 14 to 16. Because Kevin loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. Kevin will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Indeed. I am sure that you are meeting people who are in a battle. Mm. It may not even be a health battle, but certainly cancer is a, what's the word we would even use for this plague. They can't have that assurance that God's plan for them is healing, is a miracle. You are a miracle man. 
Yeah, I, I don't, I wish I had that answer to, to explain God's sovereignty, and I don't. I've met women who have lost their husband to my same cancer. I've talked to people, I've received email. I, I wish I could speak to that void or that pain, and I just can't. Uh, God is sovereign. He allows, and it, the, you know, the, uh, the rain falls both on the healed and, and the dying. And I, I wish that I could give answers. The only answer I can do and the only solution I can provide is to be a testimony of what happens when you're sold out surrender, no matter what, how many days you have left on this earth. Even if I die in a year from now, so be it. From this day forward until that time comes, I'm going to make the greatest difference I can in as many lives as possible, starting with my wife, my children, my greater community in Ottawa. And should God author it, the world.